Marceau game yet. The lumbar feels to me like an IGN DD. It, it feels like feast or famine. Mm -hmm. And that's that's not a good feeling to have in something with that many barrels that's that big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I can do it next time, sure. That would be on uh, probably Tuesday stream. The Lord alive when it hits. Ooh. Oh, Cochlin. Um, if you want to use that as your gift sub, sure. I didn't realize that, so I apologize. I do have it on my list. Let me prioritize that, sir. I'm glad it, that, that you can make it work there, uh, Patton. I haven't really had an opportunity to play it much, so I really haven't quite figured out, like, the strengths. I've really only had time to discover the weaknesses. <laughs> oh, there it is. And it has a great many of those. <laughs> It does, mm -hmm. but the few strengths it does have, what is what makes a ship quite good. Yeah, I mean, when it hits, so I said, when it hits, it's, ooh, it's lights out. Mm -hmm. The problem is getting it to do that. Well, that happened to me earlier today, thanks to uh, whoever that was. It, it's, it's that game yeah. that's that. I mean, it, it feels to me from the time that I've spent playing it that it not only it requires you to play it well, but it also requires a decent amount of mistakes from the other side to really make it work. And that's not something you can guarantee. So you just have to play it the best you can and hope for the best. Mm -hmm. True. Hey, Zeth, you're in this replay. Am I? Yeah, it's... Uh, oh! That game. I... Wow, wow, that feels it's, good. Is that dusty? It's... My, Thanks, again, Zulu. You get, <laughs> you get my perspective, but the, okay. I, took a, I, took a, I took a lot of risks this game, and I felt like I could have easily gotten, like, dev struck with, like, three or four of them. So I'm trying to figure out how I can uh, get the same result without taking all the risks. Uh, by the way, guys, how are you today, Mr. Surf Sexy Accent? <laughs> so, I played this game earlier today. God, I hated this game. I'm in here. Thank you so much, dude. And and I saw you posting earlier, by the way. I wanted to say hi, and I got distracted, so apologies for that. It's just the only guy had less than 20 viewers. I know, right, dude? And I'm glad that my replay analysis made you a better player. I've been doing this for a little bit. Um, I actually started last week doing weekday streams, and this week is the first time I will be doing weekday streams on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, in addition to my normal Sundays and Monday night Civilization Six streams. So, yeah, lots going on. Um, You're still teaching, though, right? No, I've, I'm done with that. Ah. I was about to say, have you decided the children are, in fact, not the future? <laughs> um... Yeah. I didn't realize that that had changed. No, I... So, they're... <laughs> on my way to being a Twitch millionaire... Okay, I, and we're moving on to the replay. I need an, I need an OnlyFans account for that to happen, sir. <laughs> um, but... <laughs> no, realistically... Apologies, I didn't mean to start a conversation there, my bad. <laughs> no, it's all good. Realistically speaking, I um, I need to be flexible to be with my dad if, if I need to help him. He's of the age, and things are happening to him to the point where I do not know what the future brings. I like this shot on the Zao, by the way. Unfortunately, the Zao died. Oh, look, there's me. I, I wanted the range buff on the Zao. Mm-hmm. So there's Kitten in the Georgia. Okay, now you're getting ready. What was that on the other team? Yes. Oh yeah, this is this kitten. is a, okay. this is from earlier today actually when I was streaming oh, so with Kitten. And um, okay, I saw that. Okay, so I'm watching it from the other perspective now. Okay, that's cool. correct. I I like that. Now Kitten, I, I do too. too. Kitten sitting broadside going sideways. Um, oh, here's the, the, one of the strengths of the Columbo. You've got the ability to have 360-degree turrets in the rear. Very easy to relocate. Um, nice hit there. Ooh. 
I remember her taking that hit the first go round. I didn't realize who she took it from. Mm hmm. Ouch. It's Columbo. It's a good thing and a bad thing. If it was I do a, like the 360 turns. Those, those those definitely give it some some things it can do that it wouldn't be able to do. Very comfortable. It kind of feels like uh, Nikolai in that regard, because you can just, just swing your bow in there, your guns. Mm -hmm. It only works when you're going forward, though. Yeah, uh, it doesn't work when you're going back, which <laughs> is kind of an issue. Yeah, for but it, it helps protect your sides, and it, it helps you know protect you know, getting all your modules stripped away by HE spam. Mm hmm. So, against a Georgia, since he was almost dead, I wouldn't have bothered getting the rear turrets on. I would have just shot the front guns if. As soon uh, as possible. Yeah. If Wargaming says no, then unlucky. You should be if charging Wargaming... straight at them. I like how you said if Wargaming says no. <laughs> if the spreadsheet gods will it. Ah, uh, the spreadsheet. Now, one of the... For those of you guys who don't know the Italian battleship line, the Ooh. whole gimmick is... Uh, sap. Now, sap shells... Oh, hold on a second. Casual tea drinker and I'm talking right now. Um, so the big thing about the gimmick with that is it's got sap shells which uh, have high penetration but but low armor penetration in a sense. They, they chew up light armor, like superstructure and stuff. But here's a great example of that. You see how you got one non-pen and two ricochets with your sap. You also can't get citadels with sap, so it's kind of like a in-between. Uh... I actually don't like the decision to go, uh, to go kind of head back to spawn. You can yeah. definitely be very aggressive with your positioning. And I was actually surprised that Zulu did that. I thought he would have kept going forward, but he didn't. Yep. The strength of Columbo is that you can literally, you can be as aggressive as you want. And if something, uh, if it starts going south, then just make a smoke and run. Yep. You make Inky and run also use it to simply reposition from one spot to the other so they're not necessarily certain of where exactly you are mm -hmm. and then unload 16 barrels of death and watch two of them hit yeah right. i know right i mean it it has definitely on feelings a lot of the time i won't deny that my lovely on now oh, no, I'm, this is not good. I'm glad to see the holland torpedoes because on my team they said, um, uh, on my team, they were in chat saying, Holland, you're useless. You're not doing anything. Um, when, okay, he, he got the torps on. He good. I did feel like the Holland was running away a little bit earlier than he needed to, especially with you turning like this. That's the, uh, super ship, right? Nashimov, Ushikov, Ushikov, yes. Ushikov, Ushikov, Nakamov. Yeah, it's the Super Kremlin. Yeah. So, that's fun. <laughs> I mean, they've nerfed the crap out of the Kremlin, and it's still strong. Mm hmm. Now, some, something happens uh, to where Zulu is very low, and I'm very curious to know what that is. Right, Ushikov goes down. Very much the focus of, of your team. Which one's my favorite super ship of them all? None, because I don't play them. Sorry, I like playing the Annapolis, just because. I would probably. <laughs> instant deletion. I would put it at Annapolis or Condi, personally. Siegfried sitting bow in? Yeah, shoot him. Alright, here's would the part. Hatchery for me. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know you love the pottery. We saw you in the pottery earlier, SAT, a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I'm just happy. Yeah, I'm happy to have played pottery. And mm -hmm. it's like the one of the better super ships that you don't have a guilt conscious seal clubbing with. Why? Conde, uh, Conde does a little bit too well in too many aspects. Pottery, at least it feels like you give the enemies a chance. Mm-hmm. 
Now, Zulu, the problem with this game, from my perspective, was more the Jutland than anything else. Uh, or the Groningen, I mean. Sorry. Um, we had a tough time trying to get that Groningen out. And I think you kind of see the result of that here. Yeah, I would have preferred seeing you tank your ship, you know, with the, the tools you have and, and headed more towards the 8, 9, 10 and come out from C through there rather than cutting through B like that. Because that enables you to set up crossfires on virtually the entire team. Nice hits on panoramics. Cross misses. Hey, it's a 25% hit rate. I'm very curious what's going to happen up here with the Jean Bart. Because I was seeing the minimap and I was really wondering what the heck was going on, so. Boy, we have watched some Jutlands do some good and, and have some bad things done to them so far today. Oh, yeah. Too few credits and too many other things. Yeah, that, that's true, Cthulhu. It is expensive. Um. And to me, honest, in my opinion, for good reason, super ship economy now is very similar to what tier 10 economy used to be, like, five years ago. Oh, I, I hope that you PayPal'd your Des Moines accordingly uh, t for taking those torpedoes. Those are my torps, I think. There you go, making inky. Oh. Supers are costly, Monty. That's correct, yeah. I think that's... this one's premature. To smoke? Yeah. How so, sir? So, he smoked, but John Bart doesn't have a shot. It looks mm -hmm. like you were intending to turn out, but the torps, you needed to wait for torps to pass by. So, mm -hmm. you kind of wasted the first 30 seconds of your smoke. Okay. And the other thing too is, uh, now you're about to, your smoke is about to expire and you're broadside to the Jean Bart, which is oof. Keep turning. Hey, look, it's me. You're gonna shoot at me and miss most of this. Oh yeah. It's actually kind of a common problem. And Zat, that was a very good dodge. A lot Thank of people you. will. A lot of people overshoot, so mm -hmm. just going quarter speed and then stopping like that is actually a common way I dodge. Yep. Mm -hmm. Premature smoke me chewed by meds, talking with your doctor. Oh, lol. Uh, the big thing is, so you've got two targets, and I would not be shooting the Jean Bart. I would be focusing on the Siegfried here, actually. There you go. The problem is all the time you spent looking at the Jean Bart meant that your rear turrets were not looking at the Siegfried when you needed the most, i.e. when both of your turrets, well, four of your turrets are ready to shoot. Well, fortunately you pay paled up to use HE. Right? Hey look, it's more of my torps that are gonna miss. It's so depressing watching me miss <laughs> from my angle. I mean, it, it's depressing watching it from, you know, you play as well. I mean... You know, well, thanks, Crimson. No, I meant for the quality of the ship overall. I mean, it just... Mm. It's almost like the line was designed to fail. Yep. The, it's kind of designed... It's kind of like the Shimakaze. You'll get probably 95% of your games like that. You'll hit maybe one or two at most and be frustrated. But then, mm -hmm. like, the... And then... 4%, you'll get some pretty good hits, but nothing, but not like, uh, probably three or four. And then you'll get that one god game that everyone, uh, plays World of Warships for. Right? Mm -hmm. Ooh! Yeah, yeah, very close this dodge, cool. and this is the part, so you were so low, and I was trying to hit you, but because you turned away, I couldn't with the storm. If the storm wasn't a factor, uh, I probably could have killed you here. But... Siegfried was just not having a fun time there. He's a Siegfried, that's what he gets. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I'm that ship is crap now. With the commander I rework. Don't disagree. The commander rework completely destroyed anything that had that the sleeping had going for it. 
I originally wanted it, and then I was, you know, after all that, I was like, yeah, my research points will never be spent on that. Ah, uh, Shockwave, your Des Moines replay? Um... He's definitely done some work with the thing. Gotta give him credit for that. I'm guessing that's uh, C Hope is the file name. I don't think it is. The important thing is you got the you got the heal off, and that allows you to basically tank just about whatever I'm shooting at you. The Jean Bart is the key. Once he dies, we're we're all screwed. And for some odd reason, he decided to pull forward here, and I don't understand, because that just allowed him to get farmed for free. Shoot, well, shoot, 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 shoot. He's so low, shoot the guns. Hurry up. Yes. I'm Why up. are you waiting for your guns to sink? <laughs> oh, and of course, you've got Sansonetti on this ship, too. Wow. Yeah, Cincinnati made the, the Italian cruisers significantly easier to play. <laughs> yes, but he's an Italian battleship, so... And I was always so happy when my gun range just got up. Oh, it's been three years okay. since uh, the Italian cruisers. So you took a torp. God, my shells were terrible. You're playing, you're playing Russian, uh, Japanese light cruisers. Like, it's, <laughs> it's just expected. Isn't Sansanity a requirement for time boats? Probably. Uh, I was able to make him work without, uh, on any of the lines, but it mm. definitely helps quite a bit. Mm. So here's where you made Inky and you turned in. I remember this. I was, hoping, on the DDs. I was hoping I could get a hit on you. Um, what was surprising to me was that you completely changed directions, which, I mean, in the Colombo, you can totally do. Although, I would be on a kiting position away. Like, yes, you need to kill Zat because he's on the cap, but getting in this close, I don't think it's that necessary. Right. Um, fortunately for you, unfortunately for me, you could take the time to line up that shot. I couldn't. And watch what happens to my hit points because that's okay to lose 25,000 hit points. And on top of that, I take torps from the carrier, so oof. Oof. And you got another kill going. Oh well. And here comes torpedoes from me. I do get one hit on you. On the belt. DCP's active, so no chance at flooding. And that's it. GG's. You've secured the game. I don't really know what to comment on, uh, I'm surprised you're using AP here against Sakuryu. Uh, for me, I think the beginning could have been played better. Mm -hmm. When you were going down, when you were going from C, I think you should have headed directly south instead of going back through the... Into the middle. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then that put me, that ended up putting me in that really bad position in the, in the other guy then. Remember, you're a Columbo. You can actually get out exactly of that position. Death death. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't even consider going down the eight, nine, ten line. Mm -hmm. I only thought about going to the B. And I think if I if I had died there to that John Bart, I I think the game would have probably swapped the other way. I agree, and that's why I think the John Bart was really the key uh, to our uh, our battle. When the Jean Bart died, there was really no hope left.